Hey there guys, um, been trying to get a winter hike going here uh, last week or so and uh, want to wait until I get some snow outside. Well we had about half an inch of snow and it all melted so I'm kind of stuck in the house at the moment. I've got a couple guys who wanted me to do a, a review on my uh, uh, tactical vest so I thought alright I'll knock those out today since I haven't posted any reviews here lately. Um, and we're going to start with the one that's sitting in front of the camera right now. Um, it's nothing special. This is just uh, uh, the vest itself is a, a UTG vest that I picked up. Um, it's actually a pretty sturdy vest. I paid uh, 40 ish, 45 ish for it. Um, then I outfitted it with all Blackhawk pouches. Um, I've got it set up right now with my, uh, my XD 45. Uh, I've got three single P mag or not P mag, but uh, pistol mag pouches with uh, 45, 13 rounds of 45 in each each one, and then uh, next uh, clipping the the gun itself with the Blackhawk uh, detachable holster, uh, CQC uh, Serpa holster. I've got another one in the gun itself. So that's four pistol mags I can carry with me on the way out the door. I've got it all set up like this, so all I have to do is grab it and head out the door if I need to. Um, then I've got three single stack uh, AR-15 M4 pouches for my uh, P mags. I got loaded P mags in each one, and then I went ahead and I got this is I believe the large uh, accessory pouch from Blackhawk. And this thing holds a lot of stuff, actually. I can put a whole box and a half of shotgun shells in here if I need to. But right now, all I have in here is my Bushnell uh, foldable. Nothing special, just a uh, little pair of binoculars. They're 10 by 25s. And then I also have my uh, TLR3 Streamlight for my uh, XD. I can just pop on there if I need uh, some extra light or whatever. An excellent little life for the price. Uh, if you haven't checked them out, go ahead. I suggest you do. I can actually take this off of my uh, XD, and I, if I need to, I can throw it on my uh, Sig 1911, or I can throw it onto my uh, my other XD 45 because I do have two of them. Um, you know, pretty much it comes with different accessories. I'll do a different review on that later. There's reviews out on YouTube uh, already about this light, so uh, if. Uh, if you want to check it out right now, go ahead. Uh, go run and check that out. Actually, here's a slug in here I still have in here. Shotgun slug. It's still in there. But uh, that's what I'm carrying in this vest. Um, I picked this vest up, like I said, for 45 I probably got... Oh... Uh, 100 a little over $100 worth of pouches in it. Ordered from Blackhawk and then another 60 bucks for the holster. Um, I wanted to get this particular vest because it's got the uh, actual speed clips here to go along with the zipper. In case your zipper fails, you can actually still keep going with the vest. Um, it's got a pretty sturdy zipper on it. It's not a YKK. It's an off-brand. I'm not going to give it any props for that, but it does. it is pretty sturdy. I also, it also has the inside pockets in it. There's a zipper pouch here for map. Mesh pocket here. For whatever you want to put into it, um, it's also got another mesh pocket on this side for a map or whatever you want to throw in it. Like so, pretty good, pretty big pocket actually. Um, I have never used them for anything. And then it also has the dedicated, uh, I don't know if it's dedicated, it's got the for water bladder. But my suggestion, I don't use this for my water bladder, but what I would do when you, if you get something like this is take a piece of paracord and uh, take the nylon out of it and sew you a little uh, loop here so you can attach your water bladder to that loop so it's not sitting in your back banging around uh, on the inside of your back there. Okay, let me hook this back up here. I actually have another vest I'm going to do a review on today too, and I'm going to do that separate. So this will be one review and then the other one will be another. So this is kind of hard to do, I'm at an awkward angle. <laughs> Trying to zip this back together so that I can uh, show you the other stuff on this. 
It's actually a pretty sturdy little vest. Um, granted, it's not a Blackhawk and it's not a, a 511. Um, there's a couple other brands out there I can't think of off the top of my head that are pretty good. But I, I got this one because it was readily available to me at the time. And it had the, the stuff features I was looking for. And then I just went ahead and ordered all the pouches and stuff off of Blackhawk.com. And uh, each one of the, the, the mag pouches actually has a grommet at the bottom for drainage. Um, also on this, this one has the uh, speed adjustments. Instead of, I know a couple of Blackhawk, or the Blackhawk cross draw vests have the, the strings you pull, like shoe strings. But these actually have the dedicated speed, speed pull them in and release them that way. Because where I live, I have temperate climates, so it gets cold here and it gets hot here. So I'm always constantly changing my... Uh, my uh, clothing into heavier, thinner stuff, so I can actually grab this and quickly adjust it. It's got three on each side. There's, this is mirrored on the opposite side. It's got also got the, the loops for the belt here that actually button and our Velcro it's for uh, different size belts. If you wanted to throw a tactical belt on there, which I I recommend because I usually use a, a dump pouch with this. I just take my mags and dump them in the dump pouch. And on the back of this, which I don't have anything on at the moment, it's got plenty of molly on the back. Uh, it's got Velcro here if you have a name tag or if you're a police officer and you want to throw a tag on here. It's got two rolls of Velcro here. It's got a handle to grab onto, carry it around. It's a pretty sturdy handle. I've had this thing fully loaded and that's just how I carry it. I grab it and carry it with the handle. In case you get injured, somebody can grab this and drag you away. Um, that's pretty much all on this vest. It's just a pretty simple vest. It's got the D-rings at the top here for accessories or whatever, both sides. Got the adjustable shoulder straps. Um, supposedly got a padded shoulder. I'm eventually going to take it. It's got the little, uh, I don't know what the PVC thing in here. It's supposed to help you keep the butt of the rifle here, but it kind of gets in my way. Personally, I don't really care for it. I may eventually end up cutting it and taking it out of there and sewing the vest back up. But uh, I've got this one set up for my XD45, and I can run that with this. Uh, I've also got a set up with four P mags for my AR. Um, I've got some binoculars and a light. And uh, about the only thing I'm missing on this, which I would probably throw in here, is a multi tool. But I'm all, I always have one on me anyway. I always have my Leatherman with me anyway. So even if it wasn't on my best, it's on my person, on my personal body, anyways. And. Uh, I'll have it with me in case I need that. Um, it's it's a decent vest for what it is. It, it's functional. I've used it quite a bit. I'm actually going to end up having to buy some new new uh, mag pouches because they're starting to get worn out. And, and uh, this one's actually got a little hole wearing in the corner there. It's from going prone and stuff on the ground and different things like that. But I have used the vest. It's it's a decent vest. Like I said, I paid 40, 40 ish, 50 ish around that price range for the vest itself and then another hundred bucks in pouches from Blackhawk and uh, it's a decent decent vest it's very functional like I said I've got to set up a cross draw right now but I can always take this uh, off of here and move it and put it like on my backpack you can't really see that put that on my backpack and carry because it's got the Blackhawk speed clip things on here I can't think of what they're called offhand but yeah, I set it up that way. So now I can take this off of here, and if I've got my thigh rig on, I can take this and attach it to my thigh rig and, and go from there. I still have my pouches on my vest, but then I don't have to worry about it being on here. Say if I'm in a car or something, I can take the this off my, my leg and put it on my vest so it's a little bit easier to access if I'm in a vehicle. Other than that, that's pretty much it on this one. I'm running short on time now. I just noticed I'm at nine, nine minutes and something. So I'm going to cut it short on this. If you got any questions, let me know. Um, I'll answer them for you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and set up and do the night, the review on my other tag vest that I have. And uh, Alright, uh, talk to you guys later. I'll be back in a minute with the other vest.